As the opponent shoots in on Nolf's right leg, Nolf defends by kicking his right foot back and bringing his left arm to the inside of the opponent's right arm, controlling the inside space. Look at the opponent's positioning at this point. He's looking at the mat with his head down and has both hands and his right knee posted to the mat. This suboptimal positioning gives Nolf an excellent opportunity to attack while his opponent's defenses are down. It's difficult to see from this angle, but Nolf is controlling his opponent's left tricep with his left hand as he circles towards his right. With the help of this arm control, Nolf is able to attack a single leg on his right while the opponent attempts to circle away. As Nolf elevates the opponent's left leg, he takes a step forward with his left foot to give him extra range to sweep out the opponent's post leg. Nolf then off balances the opponent by kicking out his post foot and forces both hands to the mat as he secures the takedown. There are two key concepts I'd like to discuss in the context of this clip. The first is the idea of counter offense. One of the best times to attack an opponent is immediately after he or she attacks you. This is because a failed attack, particularly a shot, will oftentimes pr provide a small window in which the opponent's positioning is particularly vulnerable to a counter attack. The second concept is positional advantage, which we have discussed previously. This is related to the above, whereas a failed attack can provide a positional advantage for the defending wrestler. The goal should be to maintain and even increase the margin of this positional advantage through positioning, movement, and chaining different techniques together until a desired result, in this instance, a takedown, is reached. Adding counter offense to your game is significant because it allows you to score not only when you attack, but also when your opponent attacks. So let's take a look here. So we can see the opponent shoots in here. Looks like a knee pull single on the left side. Nolf's gonna successfully defend with his left hand to the inside. He pulls his right foot back. And this is the setup. So instead of the usual hand fighting that would take place with both wrestlers on the feet, the opponent's failed shot and then the subsequent positioning that they're in is going to allow Nolf's offense to be much more successful. So the opponent's now out of position. So Nolf's also gonna add this arm drag. And you can't see it very well, but Nolf's left arm is on, the, is on his opponent's left tricep. This is going to make it harder for his opponent to defend, with that, to defend with that arm. And it leaves this leg, the opponent's left leg, particularly vulnerable here. So just a few times on that, leg back, right leg back, left hand down. Grabs a single leg. Watch Nolf's feet, the movement throughout. And so what you, what's important to understand is that the window on counter offense is, is, is usually quite small, especially the, the better the opponent is. So the opponent is not gonna be out of positioning for very long at all. So right here, Nolf covers. He's got this small window, spins around, grabs the leg. And from here, sweeps out the foot, gets the finish. Now let's talk about positional advantage. So this is a similar concept. The opponent shoots in, Nolf defends. Nolf has right now what we would call a positional advantage, meaning simply his positioning is better than his opponent's. So Nolf's goal is to take what is a fairly good positional advantage here and increase the margin of that to where his, his advantage is more significant than it is right now. And so as Nolf circles towards his right, does the arm drag, he's gonna grab the opponent's leg here. And as he continues to circle, he elevates this leg. So his positioning now is even better than, in relation to his opponent's positioning, is even better than it was previously. So good position begets even better positioning. And that's the idea behind this concept. And and for Nolf, you can think of it as an upward spiral, so his positioning gets better and better throughout. For the opponent, it's a downward spiral. He starts out in fairly bad positioning, and now it's really bad. He's got one of his uh, feet elevated off the ground. He's hopping on one leg. Nolf's gonna step in, kick the leg out, and now the opponent has both feet on the mat, even worse positioning to defend at this point. And that's gonna be the takedown. So just one more time with that idea in mind, opponent shoots in, Strong positioning for Nolf. Not so good positioning for his opponent. He circles, 
elevates the leg, even better positioning. Kicks the leg out. And even better than that is this positioning, which is gonna allow Nolf to cover and finish. So now let's see the clip twice more, once in slow motion, and then once in regular speed. That's it for day three. Thanks for watching.